Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading again. Sorry I haven't had an update for the last week. Been a little busy doing some other stuff besides the uh, homestead. And uh, just thought I'd give you a little tour here. We're gonna go do the yard shot in a minute for the lower yard. And I wanted to show you the, uh, the harvest for this week. So we picked off all of the Asian pears. You can see we got some here. We had about 10 more that we picked during earlier in the week. They're starting to fall off the little Asian pear there. And I've shown you guys in the videos before, so they're all harvested. And then uh, this is this week's goji harvest. We had a little cold snap last week, a little unseasonably cold weather here in September. And next week it's supposed to be back up into the 80s, which is kind of weird because, I mean, this last week it was all, you know, down in the 70s. It was really starting to get cold at night. It was getting down into the low 40s. But uh, the goji berries look like they started to bounce back a little bit. So we might get a couple more weeks of harvest off those, which is always good. Let's go ahead and head down to lower yard here. see the uh, autumn wonder sunflowers are really really doing well I really like these we're gonna do a whole bunch of these next year in the yard you can see there's bees in there and hummingbirds all flying around back in there they're really liking that let's go check out the uh, fall garden broccoli and there's the cabbage there's actually I noticed there's some tomatillos that have popped up from last year the seeds actually germinated and there's actually tomatillos growing so those are some uh, pop-ups there was one over there inside there as well inside our sweet potato uh, barrels which I, I thought that was very odd but we got a uh, tomatillos popping up in there you see the broccoli here is going along nicely looks like we got some field mouse making a hole back there Yeah, it looks like it's doing okay. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of tomatoes. We're still getting a lot of tomatoes harvested off of these little mats wild. We've been just picking these off and just putting them directly onto the dehydrator. You can see the uh, little trellis is really, really heavy with them still. So hopefully next week we have some more. Uh, that nice weather really ripens up a lot of these green ones. harvested off a couple of the uh, squash back there, spaghetti squash. These tomatoes are just going crazy. We're still getting quite a bit of squash, but uh, you can see the downy mildews. mildew has really taken those out. So those are pretty much done for squash back there. We're still getting some squash on these up here. See down there, there's a couple. There's a yellow one down there. Paula came through yesterday and picked off a bunch of them that were bigger. But you can see they're starting to, a lot of them are starting to rot. So we're pretty much down to the very end of uh, squash season. Still a lot of tomatoes though. I mean, look at these Montesinos. There's still a lot of them that are ready to go. I gotta come through here and pick these this week. We did catch one of the moles that was back there, my, my nemesis. Sharps reset. Hopefully, get the rest of them from tearing up our patio. I don't know if I did a video. I didn't. I guess I didn't do a video because that was one of the things we did last weekend. We went to a nursery and I got some uh, some new plants. I'm going to be doing cuttings from. These are all going to be plant propagation plants. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to cut off a bunch of these new growth. These are uh, a variegated wagala that's got a little bit of different color to it. So I'm going to propagate these and then put these out in the front yard and maybe some of them along the hillside back up in there and this is a lavender it's a nice yellow lavender it's got a really nice smell to it I'm going to propagate that as well as this, this is like a it's like a bamboo, it's like kind of a bush bamboo it's a burgundy wine heavenly bamboo it's a little 3 foot by 3 foot so I'm going to propagate some of this taking some of the rhizomes if I can. I'm going to put these in bigger pots for next. This fall I'm going to put some big pots and then I'll uh, see what I can get out of there if I can get some of the rhizomes to grow some new ones. And then these are just some little bushes, you know. I'll probably just take some of these and then I can do some cuttings on this next spring. 
you know, take off some of this new growth. And this, of course, is our dill that you know, we had in the inside. Just brought it out here for the last little bit of season. While Paula makes the last of our pickles, she just kind of picks off some of that dill and throws it in. And then we've harvested off a couple of the, uh, the bush beans. I don't see any more ready yet right now. There's some more here growing. Did eat all the salad though there for Taco Tuesday. Because <laughs> you know, we love the Taco Tuesday here on the homestead. You can see there's still a lot of cucumbers coming on this gherkins. There's some more there, ready to go. There's a bunch back in there. You can just see them hanging there. So, I'll have quite a few cucumbers for this next week. And then these are our seed. I'm letting these grow for uh, seed harvest. These are the Montesinos. No, not Montesino, Monte Cristo. I always get those mixed up with the tomatoes. So we're gonna save a bunch of those and there's some more Punakira cucumbers. Looks like another one brown back there. A lot of green ones ready to harvest. Green beans on here look like they're doing nice. Nice full. Had a lot of blooms. Hopefully this next week when we have our heat spur spurt, it's going to uh, get some more beans producing on there because that cold spells kind of put everything into a sleepy mode. So we'll go back here and look at the punicures a little bit for you guys. Oh, and we did eat those last weekend. And uh, the you know, we had to peel it, but the inside tasted really good. It had a really mild, uh, mellow flavor for a, uh, for a cucumber. I still like them like this size though, because these, you know, you can eat the skin and all, and uh, they're really good. I need to pick some of these and take them to uh, the guy I work with. I think I'll do that after I get done shooting the videos here for you guys. Because he's, uh, he's actually from India, and he, he where he lives in southern India, they don't grow a lot of cucumbers. So he was kind of impressed by these cucumbers and he really liked them. So I think I'll take some of those to him. You can see there's more of those gherkins. Got a lot of them in there. There's a lot of tomatoes. I mean, our dogs have been coming through here and just eating all these the ones that are hanging down. Yeah, let's, I guess I'll give you a shot underneath the trellis here. You can see there's a lot of tomatoes still growing in there. The time of year, you know, this, this time of year here in Oregon is really, starts to get the water coming in and they start to split pretty good. And these, these Montesinos hold up pretty well because they're really thick skinned, but uh, even those do split. And then of course here we have some of these just regular old cherry tomatoes. These seem to be doing pretty good. These are nice, good for salads. And for just picking and eating while you walk around the garden. This fig has really gotten big. We're probably going to plant him in the ground up on the hillside up above in the back of our property. And then there's some more squash, you know, scarlet runner beans. All those are going to be just hanging dry beans. We're going to harvest those. And we still have. The apples on here, there's quite a few still hanging on. That's kind of it for the lower yard. All right, well, I'll just uh, shut this off, and the next video you see will be the upper yard video. All right, guys.